Hello there everybody, my name is Nihil, and what's that? That's not Hammer. It is my Hammer tutorial series, but we're actually in paint because today we are going to talk about optimization, okay? It's a, a requested and really advanced topic that you need to understand if you want to make a serious competitive CSGO map or any other source engine map because it is important on the source engine to optimize your maps a lot because it is old and slow. All right, so um, I'm going to explain to you exactly uh, what the core concepts are and then we're going to hop over to, to the Hammer Editor. Why did I say two twice there? I don't know. Um, we're going to hop over to the Hammer Editor, and we are actually going to see how it all works in practice. But we need to understand the theory first, and this one is not as easy to just understand in Hammer. And I think a lot of people that make tutorials on optimization in Hammer and, and Source make the mistake of not explaining it properly, the actual theory behind it. Okay, so first of all, Let's imagine we're going to draw some sort of sketch for a little map segment or something. Let's say it's like a little room here. And here's a wall. And maybe here's another room. And then here's a window. Okay, so this is like a, a window right here. Um, so say you're, you know, you're, maybe you're right here. You can look through. Say you're down here. You can look through. Say you're... Say you're up here, you can look through. Okay, so quickly we notice for this segment right here that I've just drawn, we can't really optimize anything because optimizing means finding areas where other areas can never be seen from and actually like cutting them out, okay? So this, if we have a segment like this, for example, this could be a mid, okay? And this could be like a CT mid in Counter-Strike. And this could be like a little arch or some sort of opening, a door, a window. Um, already we notice this is sort of like its own little segment and there's nothing we can do okay there's just nothing we can do at this point you're always going to be able to you know be here but you can still see inside so this is an example of an area of the map that you cannot optimize like this all right but let's take a look at something else let's say we have a little um kind of loop Okay, so this is like a hallway. And uh, say we're right here as a player. Well, we can see down here. We can even see kind of like this. But then there is a corner here. And kind of, if we're going to draw two lines here, all this area, okay, all of this can't be seen. All right. And that's what basic optimization is about. Finding those areas. Okay, your computer, when you compile your map, what it does, the vis process, the visibility engine, it tries to find those areas. Okay, and it tries to understand that from here, for example, you can't see anything down there. But automatically, it doesn't necessarily do a very good job. Okay. So what do we do? What can we really do um, to, to, in order to make this better? Well, first of all, we need to understand the concept of leaves, okay? They're also sometimes called vis leaves. Um, and these vis leaves, they, they're created by the BSP process of your compiler. And it basically, it just simply, it creates these rooms, it creates these leaves. I'm going to pick a blue color, for example. I'm just going to draw something in here, okay? Just something random. Well. It looks random at first, at least. Um, this is very well what the BSP engine would do to your map. When you compile, you don't notice it, but it does it. It basically it creates these rooms, okay? I imagine them like little rooms, like little cells that are invisible, but they're there. And those are called your vis leaves, all right? And every time two of these areas... These are basically like brushes. These are basically like cubes or rectangles or whatever you want to call them in, in space. They're just like a little room. <laughs> um, but again, invisible. Every time, wherever they touch, let's pick a red color, okay? We're going to get what's called a portal. So a portal is basically a little doorway, again, invisible, but like a doorway between those areas, between those leaves. So again, red means portal. We need to know this nomenclature. We need to understand what the names are because otherwise nothing else really makes sense. That was the wrong color. <laughs> there we go. This, these are leaves. Ooh, I wanted to do that in black. These are um, leaves and the red are portals, okay? Um, so what does the Viz engine do? This um, setup, okay, creating leaves and creating portals like what we just did here manually is what the BSP part of your um, compiler does automatically, okay, for you. 
Um, then next, as you see, if you've ever paid attention to the console, next comes the viz aspect, okay? What viz does, it does visibility checking, basically line of sight checking. It will, you can imagine it like this. It's obviously a more complicated algorithm, but w w we only need to understand the basics. Um, it basically, it puts itself in every possible, possible, sorry, position in like every leaf. So let's say we're talking about this leaf here first. It will put your, it will put itself as a camera here. It will put itself here. It will put itself here, 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 everywhere. Every single quote unquote pixel. It's completely inaccurate, but I'm just trying to get the point across here. Every single possible position in one of your leaves will be checked against all other leaves. Okay. So for example, it will detect that if it's going to say be here, it can obviously, it can look into this this leaf. So it, it, me it memorizes that, they, that there is a connection from this left leaf into this one. But it will also notice that it can also look all the way through and it can see into this one. Okay, because that's possible if you're right here. But then also at the same time, if you're down here, you can look into this one as well. And you can also look into that one, obviously, as well. So that's kind of a bummer, isn't it? Because that actually to the engine, to the Viz engine means if you're in here, you can see your own Viz leaf all, always. The one, the leaf you're in right now as the player, you can always see this one, this room, this area. You can also see this one. You can also potentially, potentially, sorry, see this one. You can also potentially see this one, even though when you're actually right here, that isn't even true. If you're right here, you can see into this one. You can see into this one, yes, but you can definitely not see into this one. But again, it's not this, basically this partitioning, okay? The way these portals were drawn by the automatic BSP process. Again, BSP comes first, it makes this, and then goes into this, okay? That's not a very good automatic process. It's not very smart. So consider the following. Um, let me leave this here. That's all right. Uh, leave it here. Get it? <laughs> that was horrible. Sorry. So what we can do, we can use a technique that I'm going to explain later in the, in, the, in the hammer section to actually affect how BSP, this one, the way it partitions it, does its job. So what if we were to say um, affect the BSP process so it makes a cut here, a cut like so, a cut like so, and a cut like so. Let me quickly actually add in the portals that it will create. It will create a portal sort of here. I've added new portals, custom portals, that we can set in the Valve Hammer editor um, to basically give a hint, so to, so to speak, to the uh, BSP that we want it to be split a little bit differently. Now, think about this current setup, okay? We, we still have leaves, but the portals are now a little bit differently. They cut the corners. Okay. What does that mean? Well, let's think about the visibility engine again. When the visibility engine takes its time to compile, now it will say, okay, the player is in here. Let me, why could I not select that color? What the hell? Oh, there we go. Little paint buck there. Anyways, so let's imagine the player is in this um, leaf right here. There would be a leaf like this. Okay. I'm just outlining it here for you. So we're in here. Well, the visibility engine would put itself in all the positions everywhere in this little thing and it would determine that always you can always see into this one you can always see into this one but even if you go all the way to the corner right here you will never be able to see into this one or this one or this one or this one or this one okay if you can say same thing for the other side, you can be here, you can try and peek the corner, but you're always going to end up in this area. You're never going to be able to, to end up in this area. So right away, the Vis engine now with our little help, a little bit of a human intelligence that came in there and then fixed the automatic algorithm of the BSP. Now that the BSP is split like this, suddenly Vis notices a lot of new things. So if we're right here, it actually is not going to draw any of this. It's not going to need to draw any of this. Okay, so this was just a quick run through of the elements. So now you know what leaves are, the portals that connect leaves, and you know that there's a certain way where which we can in Hammer actually make our own splits for the BSP. And actually, if we do it right, we can actually tell the game to not render areas that it really shouldn't render, um, which it otherwise would if because automatically it's not that smart. Okay, now this is just one 
room. This is just one loop right here, okay? It's just one situation. You're gonna have to take that knowledge that you just gained in theory and apply it to your map and think about each corner of your map um, like from a new blank slate, okay? And apply this theory again and again. It's not always the same. You can't just go through your level and do the same cut the corner thing on all your corners. It's not always going to be the same. If you have an open area, there's nothing you can do. In a big open area, you, you will always be able to see everything from everywhere pretty much, okay? So it's not much you can do. But if you do have, and most maps do have these connectors, these rooms, things like that, you do want to think about those corners in those areas where you can cut something off.